Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. By this time, you all should have watched my memoirs, the new release of Memoirs of a Perfume Collector, Trouble in Paradise, because that should be released first before this haul, y'all. It's amazing. So um, I'm just super excited for the brand and the fragrance. Um, Shadi is the perfumer, master perfumer. Um, amazing fragrances he had his hand in lovers as well by fragrance Dubois and y'all I absolutely love the fragrance and super excited so go watch my review I won't talk about it too much but we have a fragrance haul today that um, I am going to be talking about I'm also going to do a single review on one of the fragrances I have from BDK as well so maybe that one will be released tomorrow or within a couple days of the fragrance haul or before I don't know y'all so anyway just be looking out for the new Passe Soit X Trait uh, perfume release I've been obsessed with two fragrances for the past like three to four days y'all and those are the two BDK's Passe Soie um, and and uh, memoirs of a perfume collector trouble in paradise y'all it is absolutely amazing and you really need to get your nose on it um i wish i could really it's in my top 10 for life it's in my top 10 it's in my top three summer fragrances if i summer fruity fragrances um it's sexy it's oh it's just juicy it's all of that it is my number one mango fragrance today yes it did knock mango skin out of the box uh cruz del sur too those are still in line but trouble in paradise is number one as of today or yesterday um so anyway y'all let's get to this fragrance haul uh please continue to like comment subscribe turn on those notification bells you know all that good stuff and uh you know i hope you're subscribed show your girl some love and uh let's get to it so the very first one i have not done an unboxing yet but it is pr um it was sent over to me from the brand i did do a review they sent me over a discovery set first i did a review uh, back in January, I think it was, or December, and then they sent me over this. This is Wet Cherry Liquor. I wanted this or uh, the vanilla fragrance, and um, you guys, I love the note of cherry, so I decided to get the Wet Cherry Liquor because their vanilla uh, fragrance almost reminds me of Spiritus Duble Vanille. So that's in that box. I don't know what else is in that box, but I want to unbox it on Instagram first, you know, just to, you know, show them some love and appreciate everything that they sent me. The next Next one is by the House of Christian Dior, and this is La Cote Noir. Uh, yeah, Le Cote Noir. Um, this fragrance has been on my list for the past couple of years, but I never pulled the trigger on it because I wasn't quite sure. So I did decide to buy the 120, 125 ml. Um, now there are there's some rose, ooh, there's some fruity notes in here. Um, but the oud is beautiful inside. It's woody. Um, it's definitely feminine leaning to me. It's not unisex to me. I see a lot of men wearing this. Um, and yeah, if you like uh, fruity, floral, slightly oudy, musky, woody fragrances, then it definitely holds that Christian Dior DNA. Now this reminded me of another fragrance and I was like, oh, it's almost, it's literally like close to the same. This gave me the DNA of Belle Du Jour as well. So it's like a darker Belle Du Jour with a little bit of oud, non-animalic, non-offensive oud in here. Uh, but it's beautiful. I love it. It's amazing all year long. Uh, La, Col La Col Noir, I think it's pronounced. Um, get your nose on it, you know? I love it. Um, I really do. But it, Belle du Jour is definitely sweeter, much more girlier, fun, flirtier. flirtier. This one's a little darker. Um, and it's a little, Belle du Jour is also powdery. It's like a sweet powdery scent. Um, get your nose on this, y'all. It's good. So the next one I have been so interested in since I went over to Harrods, I got tons of samples. I ended up purchasing Guidance when it initially came out, but I was also in love with Amwaj's Lineage. I've worked on, I've, I went through at least four 2ml samples of this fragrance. I just wanted to make sure this is the one that I really wanted and I wanted it for the summer. This is the most amazing summer fragrance by the House of Amouage. Um, in this fragrance, it started out a little warm spicy. Um, initially when I sprayed it, I sprayed it in Harrods and it was super spicy. I think because I sprayed everything else or smelled everything else around it but it's absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. I love, I've, I've loved lineage at first sniff, 
but I'm completely in love with it now. So you get your saffron in here, you get some ginger. This is literally my number one ginger fragrance. I do love My New York by Bond Number no. 9, uh, which is a really hefty ginger and rose fragrance. So if you love ginger, this is spicy. I was a little scared of the Szechuan pepper in here, but don't be scared because you literally get a lot of ginger, a lot of saffron, you get some woody notes, you get some marine notes in here. Um, those marine kind of blue aquatic notes blend so beautifully with the saffron and also it smells like there's ambergris in here as well. Um, I'm not sure if it is, but it's airy, it's salty, it's slightly sweet or creamy. Um, it's warm, spicy, and I love the ginger in this fragrance, and it's all the way through, you all. Um, get your nose on Lineage. Um, it is not a safe line buy, you know, and you definitely must test this and wear it full body. This fragrance does not do just, justice, just testing on your skin. You have to wear this fragrance for the day. It is intoxicating. Um, it's beautiful, y'all. Lineage, get your nose on it, and the bottle is gorgeous. All right, the next one we're going to talk about is one that you should have already watched the review on, and I'm not going to talk about it long, and this is by Memoirs of a Perfume Collector. This is their new release that just dropped January the 24th. Um, the box is stunning. I love this sophisticated house. Sleek, sophistication, unique. They don't smell like anything else. None of their fragrances smell like anything else, and I absolutely love them. This is what you call exquisite niche perfumery. Um, it is stunning. Just the packaging, uh, simplicity, but beautiful, all in the same, you know, and the fragrances are gorgeous. Y'all know that I rave about Tales from Zanzibar that I absolutely love. Yes, it is my end all be all. I don't know which one I love the most. I love them both. I love the guava note in this one, um, in Tales from Zanzibar, and in this one, it is called Trouble. You guys, look at the dent already, and I've only had it for a couple days. Um, it is called Trouble in Paradise and I love it it is it is absolutely stunning this is my number one mango fragrance today you guys there's mango there's cognac in here there's rum it's boozy you get the warm spiciness from the cardamom um, it doesn't literally smells it doesn't smell like a drink like a boozy drink like tells from Zanzibar but in here there is the perfect amount of oud the perfect amount of leather um, it's just this fragrance is exquisite and it's masterfully blended and it is absolutely perfect i don't even know how you know shoddy which is the perform which is the perfumer um did a stunning job and an amazing job the creative directors um akian Ahmad, amazing job y'all tells from zanzibar and this fragrance these are lifers lifers for me um the mango in here is realistic it's juicy it's succulent um there's nothing green about this fragrance but the oud and the leather and the violet just adds, adds the perfect amount of sophistication to this fragrance and it transitions as well y'all Ooh, watch my review okay trouble in paradise by memoirs of a perfume collector you need to get your nose on this okay asap I was so happy to love this because I didn't know what I was going to do, you guys, if I did not love it. Um, actually, go watch the live. We did a live, uh, Fragged Out, Swagged Out. Um, we did a live as well. And go watch the live. It's over on his page. Um, and I will try to link it in my highlights if I can. But if not, go to Fragged Out, Swag, Swagged Out's page and watch the review and I will link all the pages down below. Follow Memoirs of a Perfume Collector. They have so many um, a new, new amazing and offerings coming. So many amazing offerings as well. Um, London is actually amazing. The vanilla in there. Uh, a Night in Marrakesh. Stunning fragrance. Beautiful coffee fragrances. So if you love coffee in your fragrances, check those two out. And I'm going to do an updated review so um yeah y'all watch out for that okay all right so the next one um these are just samples that i receive from dior and i've smelled uh dior riviera before you know it's a nice fragrance nice fig and rose fragrance and uh to me 
I would not be purchasing. I didn't purchase a full bottle of it because, you know, um, it wasn't giving me a lot, but I do like it. I don't love it. So Dior Riviera was just a like for me, but it's a nice fragrance. If you love a clean, fresh, big rose, very unisex, um, very airy, you know, just really refreshing and vibrant. Um, the next one we're going to talk about, and I'm doing a single review on this one as well, um, is BDK Passe Soin Extra, y'all. Oh, y'all, if you love Passe Soir, you're going to be head over heels for this fragrance right here, okay? I love it, head over heels. I will take this over Passe Soir, the EDP, any day, you guys. I love it. Um, so anyway, I love the, the packaging, you know, and it comes housed in a black box. Love the matte black box. And this fragrance is projecting. It's, ooh, it's, the performance is crazy, you guys. Um, so yeah, they, they literally gave you what you asked for, okay? Um, Passe Soir, look at that bottle, y'all. Ooh, the bottle is gorgeous, you know? But like I said, you definitely get a, you get Passe Soir on steroids, literally, okay? So in this fragrance, you have an additional note of cacao. It's more powdery, it's projecting. You still get that beautiful scent of quince in here as well. Um, you get some jasmine, you get some mandarin, some ginger. Um, um, all of the goodness that the original Passe Soie gave you, but more. It's a beast. Um, and you get a little bit, slightly, a dusty, airy cacao nuance, just to make it a little bit slight of a gourmand leaning fragrance. This is gourmand leaning. It is not considered, to me, a gourmand fragrance. It's a little bit of uh, a powdery, almost like a powdery, non-lipsticky iris cacao scent uh, with all the other fruity notes. It's gorgeous. It is stunning. Get your nose on this BD, uh, BDK Passe Soir Extra. And yes, um, I did a review. Um, oh, there's a golf course back there, you guys. I did a review comparing the two, so get your nose on them. I absolutely love this one. This one gives you no alcohol in the opening. This one kind of slightly gives you that little bit of alcohol. Of course, this is, an, this is an extra, so you have more oil. You don't get that in this one at all, you guys. Get your nose on this fragrance. Stunning, okay? Um, the next one we're going to talk about is literally a dupe that I shouldn't have purchased, but I did. And I don't know why, because I have the original, um, but I was just so, you know, curiosity. I was so curious. Curiosity didn't kill this cat, but um, it's a nice fragrance. Um, this is Kismet's Angel. This is supposed to be a dupe of Killian, it, and it literally is Killian, the DNA, but there's also um, another fragrance in, in here as well. It's a little more woody, but you definitely get that Killian DNA in here, and it's gorgeous. This is closer than the other fragrance that is supposed to be, that comes in the square box. Kiss, no, I can't remember the name of it, but you definitely get more of a Killian. This is the closest Killian dupe I've ever smelled. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, um, if you don't want to put out the funds for Killian, I suggest that you get this one. I love it. You definitely get that sweet honeyed apple pie. Uh, it's gorgeous. Kismet by, um, is Angel by Kismet. All right, the next one we're going to talk about, I ordered samples. I ordered my, um, my Narcos Oasis from uh, Dior Prestige. I don't know if it's pronounced Dior Prestige or Dior Prestige. And they sent me over Oligarch as a small sample. They sent me over Oligarch Unique. And y'all, I fell in love with the sample. I kept sniffing it all day. Um, they Oligarch only has two fragrances. And I think one's called Mastermind. Um, anyway, I ended up ordering both of them in 10 ml travel sizes. So I was like, I have to get my nose on these fragrances. And initially I was gonna purchase a full bottle of, of Unique, but I was, I've been buying too many fragrances, y'all. So I ordered Mastermind, which is a beautiful scent, you know. Uh, order a travel size or order a sample from them. And I ordered uh, Unique, Iconic, sorry, not Unique. It's Oligarch Iconic. Oligarch Iconic is intoxicating. It's alluring. It's amazing. I'm gonna do like a separate review on these two fragrances, y'all. But when I kept, when I smelled the 2ml sample that they sent me, y'all, this is so freaking good. I love it. And yes, I am going to get a full bottle when I'm done with this. 
It is good. It is gourmandish leaning. It is fresh. It is airy. It is fruity. There's some caramel in here. There's a little bit of powdery notes in here. Y'all, not too powdery though. Creamy, lactonic. I think there's milk in here. Y'all, this fragrance is so, it's amazing. And this is Oligarch Iconic. Get your nose on it, order a sample. I love it and I want a full bottle of Iconic. Uh, Mastermind is amazing as well, but the one I want a full bottle of is Iconic. I think it's Iconic, yes, Iconic. Gorgeous fragrance. Um, I don't hear too many people talking about Oligarch. I did, uh, after I purchased these fragrances and I fell in love with Oligarch, I did YouTube and I saw that Steven Red Adolescence did a review on this fragrance house. Um, like I said, they only have two fragrances and he loved Oligarch as well and I love it too, you guys. Get your nose on it, sample it. You can order from Dior Prestige. I will link the information down below, you guys. This fragrance, ooh, it is so good, you guys. Um, and it's called, I keep saying it's called Oligarch. The fragrance house is Oligarch, but it is called Iconic, okay? Um, yes, I did. You guys already saw my review. I have the two Kealis. Stunning. Please come out with a 100 ml bottle Kealis because I absolutely love this. Silk Santal, peachy, nectarini, sandalwood, fresh, freesia, airy, gorgeous, you know, um, backup bottle worthy. I love this stuff. I love, love a note of freesia and I love nectarine or a peachy scent, you guys. But the sandalwood in here, the freshness, it's juicy, it's silky, it's sophisticated, it's amazing. And uh, Velvet Santal is stunning as well. You guys watch my Kiali review. I love both of these, but I really want a 100 ml bottle of this, a 200 ml bottle. That's how good this fragrance is, you guys. Get your nose on it. The next one uh, we're gonna talk about is one that initially I sprayed and I was like, oh no, this is definitely a declutter. But I sat with the fragrance and then I wore it for a day. And I was like, you know what? This transitions beautifully, beautifully. In the opening, it's a little screechy, very woody, very sharp. But then as it dries down on your skin, it is absolutely gorgeous and I do love it. Um, am I in love with in love with it? Not yet, but I do really love it in the dry down. Um, and this is Argos. And what's the name of this fragrance, y'all? Then I think it's uh, Palace Athene. I was gonna say Platine. Uh, this is Argos Palace Athene. Um, of course, Nisha Ch talks about this. Jax at Jax Beauty Station talks about Palace Athene, but there is a sharpness to this fragrance. But it's a it's a beautiful sharpness, you know. It's pretty, I think there's raspberry, rose, it's woody, and the woodiness, I think that's what I like about this fragrance. You know, slightly green, a little earthy, you know, but it's beautiful, I love it, it's unique, and I don't have anything like this in my collection. Um, but the raspberry in here, the rose in here, um, the woodiness in here, it's real woody, but I like a woody fragrance, especially if it's bringing something more beautiful and feminine and juicy as well. It's juicy, y'all. Uh, but Palace Athene, I'm absolutely glad that I do have this in my collection. Not a safe line buy, even though I did. Um, get your nose on this, and the bottle is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Get your nose on this fragrance, gorgeous bottle. I do have Triumph of Bacchus and then another one as well. All right, the next one we're going to talk about is Hip Hop, um, and this is by Zernel Guy-Gilly. I always say guy because I've been calling him guy for years. He has Disco and Techno, which I absolutely love. This one is my favorite. I loved Disco until he made Techno. Then I, I now love Hip Hop before I love hip hop, like out of all of them, y'all. It's a fruity, floral, ambery, slightly gourmandish leaning scent. I'm gonna do a separate review on this fragrance, um, just a single review, because I wanna review all three of his fragrances together. Hip Hop by Zernel Geely, y'all. Get your nose on this fragrance. I think he does have samples. Absolutely love it. All right, the next two fragrances we're gonna talk about, and I'm gonna do an updated re review on these houses. This is Tutu Blanc. Um, this is a new purchase. I told you guys about Fragrance Buy. Um, I purchased this for 110 on Fragrance Buy. Love Tutu Blanc, I've sampled this before. And y'all, I know I have gone back on my word, and it's, it's 
I could probably count on five times on YouTube how many times on one hand how many times I've gone back on my word and this is one of those times um, I have Duquesa I am not thinking of it as a cherry fragrance because I don't get a lot of cherry in here I get a lot of saffron loads of saffron and y'all know that saffron is my favorite fragrance note so yeah this will not be featured in my cherry fragrance review per se but when I spray this I get tons of saffron you guys so anyway I do have Duquesa like a steal of a deal on fragrance buy I purchased this one for I think like 160 it was US dollars so it had to come home with me a while um, I think I took the last two fragrances or the only two that they posted um, it just so happened to be my lucky day and I'm super happy to have it y'all um, anyway Duquesa by Greedy the next two, I went to a fragrance launch for Fragrance Dubois um, Lovers at Beverly Hills Perfumery, and y'all, I fell in love with Ormond Jane Levant. Levant is stunning. Levant, it's in a top 20 for life, okay? Um, I love it. Yes, it kind of gives you like a, almost like an Oriana, Delina, but there's something else in here orange blossom this is like one of the most beautiful orange blossom fragrances um aside from the one that abby talks about and the one from dries van noten yeah this is like one of my favorite orange blossom fragrances i love it it's absolutely amazing i don't know why more people don't talk about levant maybe because it's a little older but levant oh it is so good I sprayed Levant on my arm and I kept sniffing it all night long. I wanted to buy Lovers, uh, but I couldn't afford all of these because I also picked up Sakura, Sakura as well. Um, Sakura is sexy. It's warm, spicy. There's like a cherry blossom in here that's beautiful. It's not it's not a highlighted cherry blossom fragrance to me, uh, but if you like fragrances like uh, Seta with a little bit of like more fruitiness in the opening, but Seta kind of gives me the same vibe vibes as this fragrance this one's a little more fresh not so woody and rich uh but y'all it's beautiful i love it would i purchase this again no would i repurchase levon again in a heartbeat y'all anyway get your nose on both of these fragrances definitely sample worthy um y'all this one is a love love it's a win and i'm loving levant okay I also sample Babylon. I really want to get Babylon as well. Uh, people said Damas. I smell Damas and it does give me slight similar vibes of Delina, but I have a ton of rose fragrances, so I didn't think I needed that one. Um, the next one, oh, like I said, I just brought these along. Um, techno and disco because I was going to talk about them, but I'm going to do a separate review uh, right along with hip hop that I love. And the next one we're going to talk about, oops, y'all. And I was waiting on Ani to do this fragrance haul, but I'm not going to wait any longer. I'll just do a collective review when that comes. Um, this is the Shanae 100 Silent Ways. I ordered Ani X, but it's taken a little longer to get here. Fell in love with Ani X as well. It's a little more fresh. It's not so woody and rich to me. Um, so I do love Ani X more than I love the original Ani. I very rarely wear the original Ani. The original Ani I layered with Lenter de Rouge and it was stunning. It gave me the femininity that it needed. Um, and that's how I feel about Ani X. Ani X, I feel like I can wear that one alone. Um, it is warm out here, you guys. It's like 95, I think 95 degrees in California. Um, anyway, 100 Silent Ways, I do love a little more. Um, it's, a, it's not giving you, in 100 Silent Ways, it gives you the original, the EDP. It gives you a a little more fruitiness um, a little more earthiness freshness and the opening this one gives you all of that but you get like a little bit of a suede not really to me a leathery nuance but a little more of an irisy suede nuance a creamy nuance um, I love this I don't want to talk about it too long but I'm definitely gonna do a full review and a comparison on Ani X and 100 Silent Ways X, in addition to my Nishane fragrances, you guys. All right, that is all. I will not keep you long. Um, anyway, go on to the world, spread amazing siage, do good, be good. And like I said, it is warm out here, but I wanted to, you know, I match the trees, okay? So why not be outside? And there is a beautiful breeze every now and then, y'all. But y'all, if you had to get three fragrances today that you needed to get your nose on, it needs to be Trouble in Paradise, it needs to be Passe Soi Extrait, and it needs to be Oligarch's um, Iconic, okay? 
those are my three favorites today that I'm absolutely loving you guys. Go on to the world, spread amazing tiage, do good, be good, and be looking out for some single reviews, okay? All right, love you all. Bye-bye.